Okay, so um, a lot of people were asking how I pulled this off, um, you know, with the VHS filter and all that, and I decided to make a little bit of a, a video tutorial on how it was done, um, because there aren't many tutorials on how to use AVI synth on the internet, um, or how to use the script, the, the VHS filter that I put over it. There aren't many tutorials on how that's done, so I figured I'd make one. Um, uh, you know, a very simple one, just so people can add VHS filters to their videos or whatever they want to do with it. Um, so let's get started. So the demo itself was made entirely in Little Big Planet 3. Um, like literally everything you see on screen right now was made in the in the game. I actually published this level to my Earth. Um, so if you want to play it, um, go ahead. Um, it was made by both me and Lemur. We made it in like one night. We were very, very tired, I guess. Um, so we, we, we decided, hey, well, why not make a fake tech demo for a game that doesn't exist? So we made this, and it was a lot of fun, actually. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all where the source of it came from. And then I recorded it using my... Um, I don't know if this will show up, because... Okay, there we go. Uh, my Hophog HD PVR2. Kind of sucks, but what can you do? That's, that's that. So then here is the original footage that I had recorded on my computer of the, of the demo. Uh, it's in 720p or whatever. Um, basically I just dragged this into Vegas and what I did, um, to get it 4x3 was I went down here, uh, clicked on this and then changed the, stretched it in like this kind of, and then gave it like a 4x3 look. I mean, obviously I rendered it in 4x3. Um, but to get it squished like that, that's what I did. And then um, I ended up rendering the video out as a a certain kind of AVI file. Let me, let me get to that. Um, you go to NTSC DV and then I customize the template. Go down to the video format and I change it to uncompressed, which let me change the frame size. In this case, I did um, multimedia 320 by 240. Let me focus in here. Yeah, there, I used this one. Um, and basically that gave me a very, very tiny, I don't know why it's not focusing, a very tiny um, video that's uncompressed because that's that's what AVI sent, um, or virtual dub accepts. Um, and then I rendered that out to a folder, which I will get to in a moment. So yeah, when you download it, um, you, you have all this crap in here, like the, the NCAT or whatever. Um, there's two things that you, or actually three things that you need. Um, the first thing is the um, the effect itself, so you can get that from the video in the description. Um, and then second of all, you're going to want to put the video that you had rendered out. Mine was this, the tiny little video that I uh, rendered out here. Uh, you're going to want to put this in the same folder as the effect which you extracted. And then inside here, um, I also downloaded Virtual Dub, which is needed for this. Um, so you're going to want to install AVI Synth first, download this effect, put it somewhere, download Virtual Dub, put it somewhere, and then um, you're also going to need a 4cc xvid codec, which I also provided because for some reason uh, it won't read the AVI file uh, by default, so you need the codec. Um, but then what I did after that was you just run this, and then it should have a couple like messages like, oh, this is fair use or whatever. Just hit OK. Um, now in the effect itself, if you installed AVI Synth, you should have this icon change right here. Um, to get it to actually work with the video that you had exported, make sure it's an AVI again. Um, I went in here and towards the top, I think, yeah. And towards the top, there's... Um, here it is, AVI source, and then it was the name of something else, so I just changed it to vid.avi, which is the name of the um, video I had rendered out from Vegas. Um, because if you don't change that, it won't find the video, or it will process the NeonCat video or something. I'm not certain, but it's not vid.avi by, by default, so you're going to want to change that to whatever your videos that you rendered out in Vegas is named. And then also down here, I also commented out by putting hashtags or pound signs before the subtitle lines because I don't have the camcorder monospaced font 
So normally it would have like a little play button in the corner, but I took that out. So anyway, um, once I've done that, you just drag this over into Virtual Dub, and then you just hit play, and it just works like that. It's a little bit laggy because it's processing it real time. Uh, and then what I did from here was I go up to File, Save as AVI, and then I just named it export.avi. And then from here, the video itself was like 4 gigs or more, I think. Let me just, yeah, like 4.83 gigs. So what I did was I dragged it back into Vegas and I re-rendered it um, at a lower, not, not lower, at in WMV so the file size wouldn't be as huge to upload and then I uploaded it and then boom that's how it was done um, if you have any questions or if I explained anything stupidly um, please leave a comment and I'll clear things up see ya